cold and windy. That is my story. I can't work in the garden because it's cold and windy. Here in cold and windy Canberra. I have to check on my Ioniums because, yes, okay, we had minus three. And uh, yesterday we had minus six. <laughs> this one, see now, oh, my super bang. Oh, you're still banging. You're still gorgeous. I need to check up on them. Oh, Senisho, did you get frozen? No. Oh, I think it got frozen a little bit. Oh, yep, I think, yes, got hit by the frost. Oh, this is what I don't like about Canberra. Senisho, Medley, Woody Eye, I'm sorry. You have been, look at that. Normally it has that white fluffy coating around it and where it's shiny and not coated anymore, that is where the frost had hit it. Poor thing. But anyway, it's still alive. See how the, on that part there, that woolly part or the fluffy jumper <laughs> got rolled off. That's what happened when they get hit by the frost. And look at the bottom there, it's still suffering. I have to put this back here and hopefully that will recover. My breakfast table is covered with cleaning succulents because I had them indoors and they are suffering from lack of light. So I decided to bring them out here so they can sun up and sun bake basically and enjoy the frost and the cold and of course I've got some cuttings oops I just stepped on something <laughs> this one belongs there this award here I'm supposed to clean it up see those little babies growing there so the top of the plant has been drying up for so long because I haven't watered it but new growth are showing in the bottom there so I have to get to that but I'll insert you here or put you there and these are all cuttings I've taken from the front and also that one has been dried up for a while now I can actually plant these ones now so Anyway, this is what we're going to do today. We are going to go do an inspection to see what happened to my plants again. This Crasula ovata. Are you Gollum or Ladies Fingers? I think this is Gollum. And they have been hiding all winter. And I've taken them out the other day and then forecast frost. So I put them away again and then I put them back here again yesterday and I thought I'll wing it for the minus three forecast. It was actually forecast minus uh, zero actually, zero minus one. And then <laughs> it went minus three this morning, cold. So for the next few days, there won't be no frost again, so they say, <laughs> that's what they said last week, and then frost came. So this plant has been on and off and on and off, doesn't know whether they're coming or going, but the wind has continuously been coming. <gasps> Look, I think that one is flowering. I can't see it. The sun's uh, on my screen here, but can you see that uh, Mamillaria picta? I can't, uh, there's a label, that's why I know. So without labels, I'll be useless. Oh, hang on, do I have another one of you? Yes, I had this one. I just want to compare it with that other one here. Are they the same plant? No, they're not. <laughs> this is different. This is like a little sparkling ice plant or something. It used to have a label, but it disappeared. I don't know where it went. But anyway, look at that. So that one's flowering, and this one is very frost hardy. I don't even know what your name. So if any of you knows what this is, little sparkling things, they have those thorns are on the tip, but they're actually quite soft. They're not hard. They're not spiky hard. They're only spiky soft. I've done a little bit of tidying up. It's not really cleaning yet. It's just tidying up just so I can walk through <laughs> because uh, this is all I've got. This is like, I don't know, a bit over half a meter of walkway here, but <laughs> the rest of the gang here are starting to look a little bit presentable, acceptable. So I just need to do a couple of tweakings, but overall, see that one needs to be repotted. That is a sedum uh, something, furfuraceum or something. Yes, yeah, it is furfuraceum. And see, look, oh, it sank, but that was a beautiful plant, but then the frost got to it. So now this also is, I can see on slow, 
a lot of my plants actually I forgot the label because I haven't been looking after them for a while so absence makes the heart grow oh, wonder wonder what your name is so that's what happened to me so this pink witch I forgot about it I put that away I actually put, brought that inside the other day because it was forecast minus three and then it went to minus five and then we had minus six so today it was forecast zero or one and then I thought oh one degree is not gonna hurt but then it went minus three I mean minus one from minus one to minus three but this one can only handle up to minus four that pink witch otherwise it would have melted as well but luckily it did not so this area now I have to task to do that one clean that up and put new plants and then on the other side here I'm trying to pan slowly is I need to do that one too which has got some plants that's been attacked by ants what's your name Papa's Rose or something that one I think yeah you look like a Papa's Rose to me Papi's Rose or oh Metallica see what happens it's a good thing I got label but anyway that is not very frost hardy and of course a few of my oh look I found a couple of my bluebird on previous video. I thought I killed all my bluebirds, but I did not. But anyway, this area, guys, <laughs> I've been hiding this one for a while. I've been wanting to do this wall here, but I just can't seem to get the inspiration. Every time I try to do it, something happens, and then I don't get to do it. And which reminds me, there was a big pile of red edge that I place in here along with my Francesco Baldi so I think the Francesco Baldi this plant here if you're gonna grow succulents this is one of the plants that you should have or a must have to start off with because once you grow this if you can grow this which is very easy to grow you, you practically can't kill it if, if you just don't go out of your way to kill it of course it's not gonna die but this thing if I take all of this now okay and just dump it there they will start to form roots okay styrofoam go there <laughs> so this one's now i'm creating oh hello oops hello my little uh candle holder little house look at that oh, it sunk anyway i've got lots to do oh variegated oh look uh string of pearls variegated so that's where you went all these plants is like discovering new things and that uh, little candle lamp thingamajig is one of the gifts from <laughs> my aunt i think there's a funny story uh, when we finished building the house basically when we moved in she came over for a visit and i haven't seen her for a while because oops hang on what am i doing we have busy lives and we only live like 10 minutes away from each other so that's how crazy okay hang on leaves like this uh, for those of you who's just new into succulents this is Francesco Baldi by the way throw it in there they will just grow so that's how easy they are to grow so let me go back to the story of this little my little lamp is very cute it's all rusty now so uh, we're holding birthday party uh, for my brother and then she came over and then that was a gift supposedly for my brother <laughs> But she thought it was a housewarming party, not a birthday party. So that was the story with that one. And so she said, oh, happy birthday. And then I said, you forgot my birthday because it wasn't my birthday. It was my brother. And then so she said, oh, well, if that's the case, let's be a housewarming party. So that's like a housewarming party for a housewarming party that doesn't exist. So every time I see that, it just puts a smile on my face. <laughs> so anyway, this little angel or fairy, you look like an angel to you, aren't you? Okay, I'll, I'll put you, oh, see the soil is very hard. That needs to be all taken out, removed, and put new, what do you call this? New soil. And this one now here, that's all Francesco Baldi. They're about to flower as well. Look at that. But anyway, so you don't need to save the flower. I just, I leave the flower for the bees. So this area here now, you can see, I can walk, I can talk. Anyway, look at beautiful Graptosedum. And they beautiful. At one time, I actually saw some cresting in here, but now they disappeared, they reverted. So this whole pot 
needs to come out. I need to take this at the front. And also, oh, look. Look what happened to, this is a Brenner lens. See, that has crawled. See how long that is? Okay, so this is now a disaster tour. You can see my neglect that I put my plants to. Hang on. Oh, look at this one. <gasps> see, that has it. Oops, I can see uh, seeds popping from those um, plants there. But anyway, this one. What is your name? That's not. Oh, cotyledon woody eye has died. Pink flower. Okay. Now, this one is uh, some sort of papasarum. I think, yeah, your shamrock. Yes, I think this is shamrock. Now, a shamrock can go here. Oh, look, another. <laughs> I'm discovering all these things. Now, these are all neglected plants. So, another. That was, um, I think, all these plants. Now, there's a story. I still remember this specific purple delight, Groptiveria purple delight, where I bought this from. So, now, this one is all leggy. But what I'm going to do is just break that off. Put it there, and then if I do forget, they will just grow. Yes, okay, I remember now the story with this one. This is actually crystal. It was labeled crystal. That's what it is. But it is purple delight, one and the same. So this one, hello, Leticia. I didn't even know I've got some Leticia here. Are you Leticia? Yes, they are. Got little hairy bits. So they have survived in here. And yet the ones that are in the open, my Leticia, has, uh, they died. Anyway, especially the crested one. Also, this one's from the back now. Okay, the Brenalensi. I just have to break this off. Chuck it there. I will get to you. <laughs> Famous last words. I will get to you. I'll get back to you. And then I forget. Now that one, look how long that purple delight is. I'll take you, how about I just put you here. There you go. And one. I just do that because this is the best way to propagate them. They're not going to grow any longer. Well, they're going to be ugly. So, oops. I'll just take all of them and... Okay. Okay. Uh, there you go. So I'm gonna put it here, put it there. Don't I got some? I don't know what they are. Forgot now what they are. Oh yes, they are. Um, I know what the name. I have to put a label, or else I'm gonna forget again. So all of this I will put over here, so I can take that into the garden or on the side there, plant it there. Because, hang on, put you. All there, you can go there. Now, oh, hang on. Might as well make use of this. Empty pots. Oh my goodness. Look, oopsie. Oh, go back there. Never mind. <laughs> now, oh, look, I got another one. So, basically, I need to clear this all out. Oh, and Rumisco's, hello. This is now actually discovery tour. I'm discovering all these plants that I've neglected. Hello, Cooperi, how are you? I think it is Cooperi, Andromiscus Cooperi. Where can I put you? I'll put you here for now. Okay, oh my God. Look, it's a dead plant. Oh, Nonotaro uh, is already dead. There you go. I have to add you to my collection. Look at this big, beautiful thing here. I think this is Onslow as well. And we have to remove the aphids because the ants are the ants are coming. They're coming. Hang on. Yep. Anything that sort of... Look at that. Huh? Take that off. Take it off. Take it off. There you go. Gone. And then that one. And that one. I don't really... I was hoping to save some for the beast. But anyway. There you go. I got lots and lots to do. You got no idea. Look. Uh, hang on. I just need to wash my hand. Do you see what I see? Where did all the Ioniums go? <laughs> oh, sorry. I oh, forgot about this. Are you okay? Iced tea, green tea, whatever. <laughs> the tea Ionium. So, oh, never mind. Pink tea. What's your name? Sweet tea. That, that's it. You're a sweet tea. So you did not suffer from the frost that is good and... Saunders eye. You can go back up the top here. 
Yes, and also, look what I've done to my Ioniums. Hey, I put a styrofoam cover and put them in the box. Now they can all come out. I will do that later on. And that wind. Oh my goodness. I don't know what I'm going to do with that wind. Nothing. Ain't nothing you can do. Put you here and all my rocks. Look at all these rocks. It would have been so good to do some succulent arrangement with these rocks. But see how the... <laughs> this has been sitting here for at least five years, I think. <gasps> look. Oh, look at that. There's a hole. That would be so good to put a succulent. It's already got a hole drilled for me. Look at that. Ah, look, my hand's dirty again from the bag. Ah, terrible. So I need to get through that and gemstones. Oh, look, little rocks. I'm such a rock hound anyway. Look at all that petrified wood there. Oh, my goodness. And look at all the dead plants. And oh, hang on. Look at all the more. This one. <laughs> I intentionally left this on this aloe. I think Alo Aristata. And look again, Francesco Baldi just growing there. Anyway, just to see how long it's going to grow without soil. That would easily be about six years now. And it's just leaving off whatever debris or little bits of soil that it had. And then the leaves would sort of drop and start rotting. You can see those dark matter there because that's what it does it feeds off that and that's a very strong plant and i'm talking to you focusing on that but my eyes is over here so i've got a whole heap of plants there that i've just neglected i think that is labels gone but that one is canihini the or are you sedum morganianum uh, burostel i don't know that's canihini and those one is a cheveria gusto oh look Gusto, but hang on. Give me a. These are all propagation. But isn't that beautiful? Nice and chubby. <laughs> oh my lord. Okay. So I'll put you there and then I'll put this one back. And would you like to see more disaster? So this is discovery tour. And then this one, I haven't forgotten this. So it's not really a discovery, but. I will discover what I've got over here again. So, ah, oh, sedum, clavatums that has survived, and more. What are you? I think this one, are you Gusto or Blue Elf? So anyway, these plants can look so... David Cummins, I think. Yes, this one here. Oh, poor things. Okay, so this is what I'm up for. And then this one, I still remember the first plant I bought with this, this Crasula. I did not have a name for this Crasula. Crasula beautifier, because <laughs> it's beautiful. And it goes all red like this, you see, you can see that. But the thing with uh, this one is that it tends to die off. So Crasula are mostly biennial. So every two years they will die and then, oh, look. Hello, gorgeous. Are you lemon and lime or glow? Uh, golden glow. I think this is golden glow. But anyway, and then this one. This is actually, I don't know what your name is now. There's no name. The, the labels are gone, disappeared or whatever. And then weeds are growing and they will produce more oxalis seeds scattered everywhere. Anyway, guys, this is probably a very shocking video for you to see <laughs> but to me <laughs> this is what's going on i have too many things to do and not enough sexy body to do it <laughs> so i still haven't worked on the car the last couple of days because i was editing video i was filming video and uh, hang on and then i have to have a life still <laughs> of course and so things that needed to be done can be done when they're done but I am not gonna uh, and plus okay yeah Australian uh, the voice Australia and also now my kitchen rules has taken up uh, my time as well but while I'm watching my kitchen rules last night guess what I was doing I was making curtains for my car 
and curtains for <laughs> another, our friend, one of our friends that uh, Wally has promised to make curtains for their car. <laughs> when he says, yeah, I'll get Liz to, well, normally he says, yeah, we'll make curtains for you, for your car. But actually, it's me who's making that. But then he uh, made that promise ages ago. And so I felt really bad. So I have to do it. So I have to make curtains for his car as well as mine. So anyway, guys. I got plenty of things to do and look this is also my bluebird that I've actually uh, I forgot <laughs> that I just chop it off just so it will grow and I'm hoping that this stump here will grow some babies and also see I've been doing lots of cuttings and I will be doing a lot more cuttings and cleaning and beautiful and then that one I'm keeping an eye on this chihuahua yensis because I don't want this Chihuahua Yensis to die on me because look, there's a baby growing on the side there. But the seeds, I would like to collect the seeds and hopefully I could grow some more variegated Chihuahua Yensis. I'm just curious to see if they do grow variegated from seeds. Anywho, what else can I show you? Apart from the normal wrangling. Oh, okay, I've got all these weeds now. See, it's full. Okay. Have to empty it out. And my mebina. I love my mebina. This is a variegated mebina that I thought died on me. But you can see that's just all dry. The minute I clean this up and water it, it will look much better again. So I don't know if I have another bowl somewhere or if it has died. But this is, I'm assuming that this is my last variegated mebina. But for now, I leave ya yeah, over there, maybe. Okay, I'm just looking and checking. So that one now as well. I can actually take you out now, huh? So all these plants, you hide them from the cold, and then when the threat of frost is gone, we might still have minus one or minus two. But apart from that, this got hit by the frost. Oh, because I kept it indoors for two months <laughs> and then I took it out one day on a protected area but still didn't like it the frost got to it so now I'm gonna put you over here you can hide but you can't run okay so you have to stay here you gotta stay here my friend you poor thing look beautiful pot but anyway guys really oh this one I want to propagate I want to propagate you prolifica this is quite a slow growing plant I find well it's fast growing but the cuttings I've taken from it grows quite slow but I can see a lot of <gasps> oops babies growing look oh from leaves oh how exciting oh my goodness Okay, let's go take that out. Yes, roots, look. And are you variegated? Yes, this one looks like it's very, yes, variegated. Ah, oh, how exciting. Oh my goodness. Ah, okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh no. Can I pull you out? I'm sorry, I need the pointy one. Anyway, guys, as I perform surgery on my <laughs> uh, prolifica variegated, I'm gonna say goodbye. Goodbye. Good. Bye. Ah, look. Almost every single leaf will actually grow. Look at that, huh? Okay, I'm going to go through that again. I'm going to have fun. Bye-bye for now. Thank you for watching. Hopefully, I'll see you on the next video. And hopefully, you enjoyed my mess. Because that's one mess I didn't want to show you but I have to because eventually that will get done and it will be more inspiring to you and to me if I can uh, see what it looks like now and what it's going to uh, show <laughs> in a few months time anyway as I put my Ionium back to where it's supposed to grow I bid you adieu Adieu, 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 adieu. Okay, you can go here. Why do I have plants here that doesn't need to be uh, protected? Oh, there's the eye. You can come out now as well. Ah, oh, look at that. 
Okay. Ah. Oh. Yeah. See the difference from grown out in the sun to in the shade. See, they're basically the same plant.